In today's video, I show you the order I use when reporting elbow MRI. When I assess elbow MRIs, I do not use a structured report or a specific template, but I still have my uh, structure. And what I do, I always start off with the bony structures. So I have a look at all the different bones, whether there is bone marrow edema, whether there are any fractures. So cartilage is fine. We don't have any effusion. Also radial head, radial ulnar joint looks nice and smooth. At the same time also assess the different recesses for foreign bodies. The next thing I do is checking the radial ligament. You can see here the radial ligament and at the same time also have a look at the common extensor origin here whether you have epicondylitis or a partial rupture of the common extensor tendons at this location. Always verify this on your axials. You can see here the common extensor origin and the radial ligament below. Make sure that there is no partial tear. Don't forget the lateral ulnar collateral ligament which is this structure here. It's not so easy to see and sometimes you cannot see it at all. The next thing are the ulnar sided structures. So we assess the ulnar collateral ligament which is composed of three different parts. This one is the anterior part. The structure here whether it's nice and smoothly inserting here onto the ulna. Sometimes you can see little tears when fluid is running down here. Next thing you want to assess are the common flexor tendons, the origin of the common flexor tendons here. Check for partial ruptures or edema and verify this again on your transverse images here. Having assessed all the structures, have a look at the ulnar nerve. You can see it's running here into the ulnar groove. It's slightly hyperintense but not enlarged. That's a normal finding. Then at the same time also have a look at the other nerves. You can see here and here. And then switch to the back. Check for any problem of the triceps tendon. Whether you have bursitis here at this location. This is the muscular insertion, insertion of the triceps. And then you can also have a look at the other insertions or the brachialis muscle and the biceps tendon, the distal one. And again have a look at the same structures on your transverse sections here. We see a slight edema along the tendon of the brachialis muscle and here you can see the distal biceps tendon inserting into the radial tuberosity. And that is my approach to elbow MRI. If you have a different approach, please let me know and comment below. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button.